okay so question number 1 would be what is this can you guess the aircraft this aircraft belongs to a flight training school so what do you see basically what do you observe is this a jet engine aircraft there are four engines are all four engines working how do you know <laughs> i i can't say <laughs> they are just there so is it into a dive or a climb is this a very very steep climb no that's the thing so here is a four engine jet jet engine airplane airplane with a maximum take off weight of 150 tons and just after take off the pilot establishes this aircraft in a very shallow climbs thankfully with all four engines working so the aircraft is designed very beautifully aerodynamically as you can see so the l by d max or l by d in climb is 15 this is the l by d in climb with flaps deflected etc each engine drain rate 75000 newtons so so what this is just a story okay the question is can you calculate its climb gradient and to make things easy for you g will be taken as 10 meter per second square so do it please so what is climb gradient what is the formula for climb gradient ah uh, yes what is climb gradient how do you calculate it let's say but that is uh, dh by dt that is rate of climb that is rate of climb yes what is climb gradient ah, how do you calculate in this case is there a formula available for climb gradient calculation yes or no yeah how do you calculate tan theta in this example okay so with tan theta so get get me the value 1.3 okay anybody else so for a shallow angle of climb l equal w cos theta cos theta is equal to 1 so l equal to w so the climb gradient is t minus d upon w excess thrust by weight that is climb gradient so thrust is 4 into 75000 newtons drag will come from l by d because l equal to w now at least do it and give me the answer if you know the answer please raise your hand if you know the answer yeah 12p so what is it 2 by 2 by 15 cannot be calculated Point 0.133 and expressed in percentage 13.33 percent yeah so that is it okay now is it clear now the next one is the next step after getting gradient the next thing is dh by dt so for that we have picked up an aircraft and we got its thrust available and thrust required curve so notice that x axis is true air speed in knots and the y axis is thrust in kilo newtons okay the first question is what kind of engine does this aircraft have it's a jet engine why is the jet engine thrust available is a constant line this is not the actual story actually there is a slight change in thrust available okay it goes up and comes down slightly but in the classroom we take it straight forward so here's an engine this aircraft has three engines and uh, 
its take off weight is 75 tons 7500 kilograms now one engine out of three has failed and the aircraft goes into a climb so the pilot immediately brings the aircraft to a speed at which the power required is minimum okay and we want to know what will be the rate of the climb so question number 1 at what speed will be the power required minimum yes okay at what speed will be thrust required minimum both are equal so are you sure that the speed at which power required and thrust required is minimum are same they are not same okay so at what condition how will you get the speed so i'll make the question easy for you i think what i'll do is just to make it easy for you because okay how about making it fly at a speed at which thrust required is minimum so first of all how do you calculate rate of climb anyone can speak out please raise your hand yes what is rate of climb excess power by weight how do you calculate excess power by weight that means t minus d into v upon w so please do it now you have the data with you and because the rate of climb is normally expressed in feet per minute feet per second rather than knots there is a conversion given that 1 knot is equal to 100 feet per minute so therefore the speed at which thrust required is minimum you can convert that into feet per minute to get the answer in feet per minute because t minus d upon w will cancel units will be cancelling okay so now i want the i want the answer of this question in feet per minute let's see how soon you can do it by the way please note the line that you are seeing horizontal line of thrust available it is for all engines working it is n engine this is not thrust available per engine this is thrust available from all the engines yeah what is the answer you got 4 feet per minute does it sound reasonable to you an aircraft with 75,000 kg weight is too low 4 feet per minute is unacceptable that is near the ceiling <laughs> 4 feet per minute hmm? 3300 1200 no slightly more than 1200 that sounds reasonable okay so let us see let us see the ROC is basically velocity into T minus D by W so the thrust available will be two thirds of the total and the drag will be equal to thrust T required because you are flying at a speed at which thrust required is minimum at which 
and the velocity is given to you. So, the ROC will be 12.667 knots or 1266.7 feet per minute. So, this number is reasonable 1200. Okay. Next question, question number 3, this is regarding turning flight, okay. So here is the question, now I would request you to note down in your, in your uh, notebooks the first part which contains the data because you will need it in the calculation. So sea level thrust is 2, 4, 5 to 5 Newtons max takeoff weight is given, wing area is given, its zero lift angle of attack is negative 2.2 and the lift curve slope is 4.6 degrees per radian. What we need to calculate is the radius of a coordinated level turn or steady level turn at 4 g and at that condition the wing incidence is 8 degrees. Then what is the time required for it to turn through 180 degrees? This is because the aircraft has to now come back. It has taken off and gone and then the ATC says, oh you forgot something, please come back. So it has to take a 180 degree turn and come back. So how much time will it need? This time is helpful in planning the operations at the airport. And what would be the thrust required? If the drag coefficient at this angle of attack is given as 0 0.055. So this is a slightly involved question you will take time to do it, okay. So what will be nice if someone can first, do not solve the question, just first figure out how you will do. So for that you first draw the horizontal circle in top view and write down the equations that you need for radius of turn. What is the equation for radius of a turn? V square by root n square minus 1 into g, okay. So now what all things are available to you? n is available to you, so the denominator is known to you, okay. n is known to you. Now you need v, you need v. So how will you get V? Anyone please raise your hand and tell me how do you calculate V? The aircraft is in a coordinated turn at n equal to 4. How do you get V? Yes. Okay. So let me ask you, how do you calculate CL of the aircraft with the data given? Right. Correct. From the rear lift line. So that means the net or a, the effective angle of attack or the absolute angle of attack as it is called will be 8 minus minus 2.2 or 10.2 degrees, okay then. So how do you convert to degrees? 0.3, correct, that is right. So you convert the lift curve slope into degrees per second, uh, per, per degree, multiply by 10.2 what will you get? CL, okay. Then hmm, how much will it be? Correct. So, the lift will be 4 into W and assuming C level, you see in any question if nothing is given then you assume C level and it is given thrust at C level. So, I did not want to mention it everything there, okay, assume sea level. So what is rho at sea level, correct. 
so you know rho at sea level s s is given cl is calculated lift is 4 times w so you can calculate v when you calculate v you have v square by root n square minus 1 so you are on right track so with that you will get v okay hold on hold on let's say we got v now how do you get time required to turn through 180 degrees so this question should be answered by this particular group now they are always answering so you should answer now how do you get so how, how please ha huh, how do you calculate omega very good so we know everything so we get omega and so that is 180 so you can get from there how much time it will take okay then the last one is thrust required now that is for this particular group how do you get thrust required It is not level flight, it is a flight in the coordinated turn. In level flight, lift is equal to weight. Here, lift is equal to 4 times weight. It is a study level coordinated turn. Yeah, but the question is about drag. How do you calculate the thrust required? so because it is a level turn you cannot allow thrust to fall below the drag it has to match the drag otherwise you will start becoming slow you can't maintain the v okay so what will be the drag how much no 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 that is the thrust that it produces the maximum thrust at sea level that is not a thrust required yes that's it cd is given to you you know v so half rho v square s cd is d and that is equal to t so now you know the method so now let's get the numbers okay so again we will follow the same procedure but we will reverse it so the radius will be given by this particular group somebody from here will give the radius of turn you are going to give the time required for turn and you are going to give us the thrust required so for all of that you calculate you have to calculate v v so before you calculate these numbers the first thing we need is the velocity if you get that right then everything will be very straight forward so let's see if anybody can tell me the velocity root of n times w by half rho v half rho s cl oh so we need cl before that okay so how much is the cl 0.0.818 seems reasonable in level flight cl is approximately 0.3 to 0.4 in turning flight cl tends to be higher because n n equal to n times w so cl tends to be a bit higher so acceptable 0.818 so if that is the value of cl then what is the value of v so this is the first step second step which most of you have got so far okay now the next step next step is just v so v will be basically square root of n times w divided by half rho s w cl so please confirm this number 
Tell me if you get the same number. Something wrong? What is wrong? Oh yeah, sorry. That correct, 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 correct. You are right. It is a mistake in copy paste. Correct. The number is correct, but the numerical value is correct. This is a mistake in typing out. I have to correct it. So, how much is V? Do not look at me. 1? I also got that. So, I am very happy. Okay. That is fine. 4, 8, 4, 5, that is okay. Some people take density as 1.225, 1.2256, 1.226, that can create a problem. CL could be 0.818 or 0.819. Okay, next step. Next step is to get the value phi. You can also do it as V square by some other formula, we have just taken this popular formula. So, is that what you got? Radius of turn. Okay. So, the next thing was time. So, for that we need omega. So, V by R and then 180 degrees will take how much time? almost around 10 seconds right 180 by assuming that the turn is constant and it will be because this is a study level turn. So, the turn rate 10.52 seconds almost 11 seconds. So, finally, the last question was drag ok. If there is a mistake please tell me. So, notice the thrust required is far below the thrust available. 